Hi everyone, and welcome to what I prepped at Dollar Tree today. Well, it's more of the same stuff and some different things because I actually went to a Dollar Tree that was a lot further away, a lot larger of a store. They had a little bit more of a variety, but it still wasn't the best one I've ever been to. Where my Dollar Tree will have tissues, they would either have these, th these, or these. This Dollar Tree had all. Now, I'll tell you why, even though they are all different, and more in some and less than others, why I got all three. And yes, they were a dollar. Now I do keep tissues set back, uh, usually in the box of 160 that I get from Dollar Tree. So it would seem like that these then are quite a waste of money. There's is a 30, total of 30 tissues here, 72 here, and 40 here for a dollar. So uh, I like to just keep these little purse packets uh, for the obvious reasons, and this is cold and flu season coming up. Now, I have been known just to take tissues out of the package, out of the big box, and just put them in a sandwich bag with a Ziploc bag and put it in my purse. But I'm actually switching purses to a smaller one and lots of other things. But my daughter recently started a new job, so I wanted to give her these to keep at her desk and in her purse, and she's training right now, so I thought these would be, you know, just little inspirational tissues maybe. Of course, she'll probably look at them and say, yeah, I don't need that, <laughs> but I'll leave it and she'll use it. So this one is, you know, find your fearless, believe in yourself, summon your strength. I just thought those were cute. And then here we have Fearless, Smart, Strong. So these are actually just going to go to, I'm going to give these to my, these three to my daughter and a pack of these. And then this pack I will keep for my purse and my husband's truck and things. And then these other ones um, I'll just put in my grandson's dresser. Or maybe not. I don't know. I usually get him the Iron Man ones. <laughs> they have superhero ones at our Dollar Tree, which they didn't have at this other Dollar Tree. So what else we got? I got more medicines. I just kind of grab one or two of these every time uh, I'm at the Dollar Tree. Uh, these I had already gotten nighttime ones, but I grabbed two more. I also got the, excuse me, hey, leave that. I also got the uh, cough and cold congestion, the DM. This one has the uh, cough suppressant and expectorant in it, which means it will still loosen your congestion, but it will still suppress your cough. So, yeah, I like that one. Then, of course, the daytime, cold and flu. And I haven't really done a comparison uh, ounce per ounce. Normally, we don't buy the, the VIX DayQuil or NyQuil just because it's so ridiculously expensive. The Walmart version, it works fine, but I haven't compared the price of these dollar ones uh, at 25 cents an ounce to the larger size of uh, the Walmart brand. But, you know, I love to save money, but I also don't like giving all my money to the Walton family. So, I, I will spend uh, this. Plus, I like the, the convenience of the small size for a dollar. So I can take this in the car without a big bulky um, bottle or I can, you know, slide this in my purse. I wouldn't put this in my purse if it was opened unless it were inside of another plastic bag, though. So then again, at the dollar store, I'm always grabbing these little candles that come in these cute little jars. And then I just, somebody, I told you, I say this every time, the first time I did a video on these and I said I keep one in the, each vehicle and somebody said, oh, you should also just store your pack of matches inside there so that it's always available. So I always like to mention that because I thought it was just a really great tip that I had never thought of. So you just unscrew the lid, obviously, put the pack of matches in there, screw it right back on, it's good. So, I mean, and there's space enough in there that if you needed to, you could actually make it a totally fire starting kit, put some cotton balls soaked with Vaseline maybe, or something, a little plastic bag of something in there, um, just in case you weren't, you know, I always think if you're trapped in your car, 
a candle would help keep things warm because you're in an enclosed space. Obviously, you'd have to be careful. But if you needed to start a fire outside your vehicle and you were able to find some things that would burn for a lengthy period of time, and then you could have just a little fire starting material in there as well. I don't know. Oh, that's lovely. I got these zipper seal uh, bags. They sell these also at the big box store. They're called portion control bags. So this is what the bag is. And the reason I have these is for storage of my band-aids. I like to separate the band-aids. I, I have taken like a huge box of band-aids to get the cardboard out of the storage. And then I put them in these plastic bags and maybe 10 of each kind in each bag, or I'll do a little variety pack so that they're ready to grab just to keep one in the medicine chest, to put one in my purse, to put one in the car. If somebody says, I don't have any band-aids, I'm like, here you go, here's a variety pack, take it with you. Or they're also good for if you wanna save those for barter. You always have to think ahead, I guess, you know, would this be good for barter? You know what, everything would be good for barter. Some things more than others, but then again. So then there you go, and it, uh, these are also good for a lot of different things, obviously. My grandson just got these chocolate covered uh, sunflower seeds. So we took them out of, they come in a big cone. So I took them out of the cone and put them in there. And you know, they're just good for every little thing. And then what else did we get? Um, let me see. Hmm. Oh, sardines. Well, <laughs> the sardines, this is an example of, uh, I paid more and I won't do it I guess unless I'm out and happen to be at the Dollar Tree they sell these for a dollar a Dollar Tree but they're only 92 cents at uh, the big box Walmart <laughs> I don't know so that's almost eight eight percent less that is eight percent less to you save eight percent buying it at Walmart and I don't know where I mean, if you were buying a car and one dealership had it for, you know, $10,000 and the other one had it for 8% less, you'd probably rather pay the, what would that be, $9,200 as opposed to the $10,000 with everything else being the same. So not that I'm, I mean, it's eight cents, but we feed one of these every two days to the little dog and then uh, one a week to the big dogs. Here we go, I got some more candles, but these ones aren't like those. These ones go in my preps. These ones I burn because I'm always burning candles. What else did we get? Got the Goo Gone. I use a lot of Goo Gone and I like being able to pour it from the big decanter into the little decanter. So I saved my Goof Off spray bottle refilled it with a large size of Goo Gone. I prefer Goo Gone. My husband prefers Goof Off. Yeah, the Goo Gone's better is what I feel like. So uh, this was a dollar so that whenever I'm done with the large, excuse me, use this up, then I can just pour some from the larger into the smaller because the stuff's expensive. I don't want to spill it. So I like having it in a small container that I can take around with me wherever I need it. Always, I grab one or two pairs of these reading glasses. I currently use the 1.25. Sometimes I'll buy the 1.5, you know, because I don't think my eyes are getting better. Uh, anyway, what else here? Okay, so I normally, I normally now use, I, I love Heinz ketchup. Nobody does ketchup like Heinz, and uh, I don't know if it's just a Pittsburgh area item um, or if you're able to get that in all parts of the country. It's kind of like hers. I use, um, I like the hers cheese curls. I don't get them too often, but I was at the store with my sister last night. We went to um, a Walmart in West Mifflin, which is closer to Pittsburgh than where I live. They don't carry hers items at all. Where where I'm at, hers is a local area, and I'm not even sure how far out of the area they go, but they weren't there. But I got the Heinz Hot and Spicy Ketchup. Now, I haven't tried this before. It's blended with Tabasco. So yeah, I guess I could have just taken ketchup and put my own Tabasco in it. Uh, but these normally sell for $2 in the big box store, and I got them at Dollar Tree. So. 
Uh, other than Heinz ketchup, I do also like the Simply Nature brand from Aldi. But I think this is, this isn't expensive either. It's cheaper than Heinz. So I, I do buy some of this. But uh, normally I've been using the Heinz jalapeno ketchup. I really like that. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. And uh, then one other thing I do is um, we've been painting a lot, my grandson and I and uh, my adult kids do as well. But we've been doing those poor paintings that you can see on Amazon. Oh my gosh, not on Amazon, on YouTube here. And we just love doing them. And if you don't know what that is, it's just this. This is a painting that we did. And this is another one of them. And so my grandson, when we started doing these, he decided he wanted to make them for everyone for Christmas. So we have a stack of them that he's going to give out for Christmas. But so <laughs> you blend the paint, you use your paint, you mix it with, you water it down actually, and then you put some Floetrol in it or other things. But so once it's mixed, it's obviously not, you're not putting your extra back into that little bottle. So I love using these for the paint bottles after because they have the, the nice uh, rubber thing in that seal there that doesn't, you know, make it pour out. You kind of got to squeeze it out. And they also fit into my storage box. So when I looked on Amazon for pouring bottles, I couldn't find anything I liked. And the ones that were really nice and made in USA were like a dollar to a dollar twenty-five each. And I have found them at the dollar store for 50 cents each but they're actually too big for what I need. So I just wash these out, peel the labels off, and for a dollar, <laughs> it would have been worth it just for the bottle. I was actually going to pull the trigger and buy bottles for a dollar. And then I said, you know what, I wanna try that ketchup bottle. And then I got these, so this was a dollar, so I get free ketchup inside my bottle. I just gotta wait to use it. But anyway, that's, <laughs> I digress always, but you know me by now, right? Can't stick to one subject. So that's it. Sardines, candles, goo gone, medicine. That's it from the Dollar Tree. And let me know in the comments. Do you put candles in your car to stay warm? How would you stay warm if you broke down and it was cold? And what did you prep today? <laughs>